Sir, is everything all right? Just give me one more second. Sarah, I know it's been a long wait. How are you both feeling? First, we're happy and excited though because we got positive result at home and we're hoping for a good news. We're not trying to get ahead of ourselves, but we're just really excited to hear about the good news. I completely understand, but I have some news to tell you. After receiving your blood tests and additional works, I'm afraid to tell you that the, blood the pregnancy blood test that you took was incorrect. You're not pregnant, Sarah. I understand how upset it was with me, but you're both healthy, and the results show that you have no health problems. This just wasn't the time. We can explore other options like IVF if you want to try again. IVF? I've heard of that, but we're just we're just even processing this right now. It's really disappointing, but we won't give up. That's good to hear, and I'm here to support you both in every step that you would take in this plan. Mm -hmm. If you ever have questions or feel the need to have options for IVF, I'm always here to support you both. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Doc. Really appreciate your guidance. Of course. When you're ready, I will always be here to guide you. about you? Looks like you've got some exciting news. <laughs> yep, we're expecting, finally. We're about six months alone. Wow, that's amazing. Congratulations to both of you. Thank you. It's a journey, though we actually went through IVF to get here. Really? We've been talking about IVF too, but we're not still sure about it. We're still hesitating because we are worried about what it involves. I get it. We felt the same way at first. It's definitely not easy, but trust me, the process is manageable. The hardest part was the waiting for the end, but after, after each step, we feel like we're getting closer. Honestly, we feel like we're getting closer together. So it wasn't too overwhelming? The journey was amazing, and our doctor was amazing, and we feel supported the whole way. It takes patience, but seeing those positive results, it's totally worth it. I think we should really consider it. Yeah, it feels less intimidating here next time. If you decided to go for it, we're here if you have any questions. We'd love to share more about the process. Thanks, Lily. That really helps.
When we think about test tube babies, the first image that often comes to mind is that of babies inside a test tube. However, this is a misconception. Making a baby isn't always easy. Fortunately, there are many ways to parenthood, including in vitro fertilization or IVF. In vitro fertilization is a process that creates infertility by fertilizing an egg with sperm in a laboratory dish and then transferring the resulting embryo into a woman's womb. While IVF has helped millions of couples, some stigma still surrounds children born through this method. The history of IVF dates back to the 1960s and 1970s, leading to the birth of the first test tube baby in England in 1978. Three years later, the first IVF baby in the U.S. was born. And since then, the technology has significantly advanced, accounting for 1-3% to of all births in the U.S. and Europe today. The IVF process involves several key steps, using egg production through superovulation, retrieving eggs, collecting sperm, fertilizing the eggs in the lab, and transferring the resulting embryos into the uterus. The procedure often results in multiple pregnancies as more than one embryo was transferred to increase the chances of success. Today, IVF is widely used not only to help infertile couples conceive but also to reduce the risk of single gene mutations and improve fertility treatment outcomes. A test tube baby is actually the result of a successful human reproduction process that involves medical intervention rather than traditional sexual intercourse. This process manipulates egg and sperm cells to achieve successful fertilization. Originally, the term was associated with the earliest applications of artificial insemination, but it since evolved to refer specifically to children conceived in vitro fertilization, where fertilization occurs outside the woman's body. Before the development of IVF technologies in the 20th century, the term test tube baby was used to describe infants born from artificial insemination methods. Today, it encompasses the broader range of assisted reproductive technologies. Fertility treatments are generally safe, with health and pregnancy risks similar to natural conception. However, there are some risks to be aware of, including multiple births, which is the most common. In rare cases, fertility drugs can cause serious side effects. Understanding these risks is essential for a safe and healthy pregnancy. IVF is a source of hope for individuals facing various infertility challenges, especially when other fertility treatments may be less effective due to reproductive factors, such as the black fallopian tubes or ovulation issues. It allows couples to use donor eggs or sperm if needed, providing a viable option for those experiencing fertility issues. Importantly, IVF is not limited to the biological mother. It can also involve surrogates or gestational carriers, allowing a diverse range of individuals, regardless of gender or identity, to become parents and witness the process of conception. In vitro fertilization has several disadvantages that can impact its success. Overall, while IVF can provide hope for those facing infertility, it is accompanied by numerous challenges and uncertainties. Our journey through the remarkable advancement in medical technology evokes a world of hope for couples facing the challenges of infertility. With innovative solutions like IVF, we empower dreams of parenthood, transforming despair into joy. Together, we can turn hope into reality, providing the gift of life and the promise of a brighter future for families everywhere. Let us continue to innovate and support those on their journey to parenthood. <laughs> Because every dream deserves a chance to grow.